What is up, Cheeto Middle, my faves? It is good to see you. I am John Forrest. Welcome to Career Day. I have the best job in the world, and I can't wait to tell you about it. I am the youth pastor at Bethel Free Will Baptist Church. As a matter of fact, there's a few of you in here that come to my church. You don't come, but you all do. And I happen to have the best job in the world. My job is to help people really understand who Jesus is. I get to work mostly with kids, but I work with families and older people. I work with everyone. When I got out of high school, I thought about being a psychologist, but I don't think I was smart enough. I thought about being a teacher, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't cool enough. But when I thought about what I really wanted to do, I realized there was a need for youth pastors. I realized that I would probably be okay at it. And then it was something I really wanted to do. I went to Welch College and I got a degree in pastoral training and Bible, but you never stop learning. My main book that I study is the Bible. And there's tons of good books written about the Bible too. So there's always something to read, always something to learn. No matter how old you get, you can keep on learning even when your beard gets gray. Like I said, I am a full-time youth pastor at Bethel Free Will Baptist Church, but a lot of my youth ministry friends are part-time at their jobs. They work another job and then they'll also work at church. I did that for 15 years. I reupholstered furniture. Check this out. I made this couch a long time ago. I really used to like to show Blue's Clues, so I made the arms look like that. I didn't make this chair, but it's pretty cool. Finally, after 15 years, I went full-time at my church. If you have the right education, if you have a lot of experience, and if you've been in a place for quite a while, you can earn as much as seventy or eighty thousand dollars being a youth pastor, but honestly, it can be anywhere from twenty thousand to eighty thousand dollars. Wish I was a little better at it. You know what I'm saying? Hours fluctuate a lot for youth pastors. Some of them have office hours at the church at certain times. I do a lot of my studying at Golly G's. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite things about being a youth pastor is that your office can be anywhere. My favorite place to study is at Golly G's. I don't know if you've ever been, but I highly recommend. It. You're always on call, basically. Anytime somebody needs you for something, you need to be ready to help them out. But you for sure are going to be at church on Sundays and Wednesdays. There's a lot of times where you're at camps or you do things at night or you go hang out with kids. So the hours are all over the place, but that's kind of cool. To be a youth pastor, first of all, you really have to love Jesus. But besides that, you really need to be good with people because you're going to be dealing with people all the time and people have problems. Every time the phone rings, it seems like it's some kind of problem where somebody needs some help. That's the worst part of the job, but it's also the best part of the job. It stinks when someone's in need, but it's wonderful when you're able to help them. I don't have the answer to every problem, but no matter what, I want to love the person and do my best to give them a hand. For example, the other day, a lady called me. She was passing by someone's house and saw a sign in their yard about church, stopped and talked to them, and they used to go to my church. They gave her my phone number, and she called me, and she was thinking about hurting herself. That kind of call is pretty tough, but it's also one of the most rewarding things about what I get to do. I've had the opportunity to write a couple of books. One of them is about using fun to teach people about Jesus. You guys want to have a little fun? This is what I want to do. I want you, that guy in the second row, right there, you. No, that guy in the second row. I want you to stand up, look at your class, and I want you to talk about what you want to do for a living for 30 seconds without saying uh or um or without pausing for more than two or three seconds. Guys, if he says uh or um or pauses too long, I want you to go ah. Eh, and let him know that he's messed up, okay? Be nice, but let him know that he's messed up. I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock. You ready, dude? It's you. Make sure we get that guy right there. Okay, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to talk about what you wanna do for a career for 30 seconds without saying uh or um or pausing. You ready, guys? Be listening for him to say uh or um. Here we go, ready, go. Nice work. Good job. You made it, dude. You get a prize. Teacher, give him a thousand dollars. 
My job isn't always just about having fun. I have to do things sometimes like try to catch the church mice that are in our church pantry. I've got 10 traps in here and I hadn't caught a single mouse. Driving me crazy. Just get in the trap, you little devils. Also the other day, I had to change out the toilet seats. That is not the greatest job in the world. I hope that no matter what job you decide to take, that you're never too good to do the hard work. But most of my jobs are pretty awesome. One of my favorite things is getting to make videos. For our first ever episode of What's in that taco? I'm walking into the DG right now. Gonna go find uh, old brother John something good. Stay tuned. We're in the canned meat area. What goes into putting in a tortilla or a taco? Homestyle beef stew? Maybe. Has anyone ever even heard of this? Because I've never even heard of this in my entire life. Corn beef hash. Do you have a, I need a can opener. Like that. Uno Momento, you know, some of these can openers have, have different things to them. Uh, <laughs> is this a can opener? Yeah. All right guys, we had some uh, technical difficulties. L? I'm not crazy, am I? Give me a knife. Yeah, you broke it now. Jordan, you are... Bro, bro, I got a can opener that's older than this. This is some high class stuff. Let me see it. I'm about to go get a screwdriver. This is lovely. This is what friendship is. Hey, bro. Hey, man. Friendship. What's that? Friendship forever. <laughs> we'll see, it Are smells like cat food that you give to tiny cats. Ooh, I might have put too much. <laughs> oh my goodness. How do you people do this? Uh, Can you say it? <laughs> yeah, so. Boy, something's smelling, people. Something's smelling. <laughs> Oh, it so. smells, dude. <laughs> no, if no. If you've heard of this, I'm gonna this be This smells like, like cat food. Surprised. A lot. It just, I'm gonna tell you, yeah. it's not. Okay, come on, just do it. Just go, just go for this it. This just became a horrible idea. It stinks so bad. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> no way you guess this. Mm. Potatoes a little bit or something. Is it a uh, corned beef hash? No way you got it. Is it real? Right? How, how, did, how did you get that? That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, man. It you smells so. So, what's the score? 1 0. 1 0. Hey, I think we ought to make a burrito out of everything of all for right. the loser. No. no. <laughs> I won't go into this very deeply, but I gotta keep it real with you. I think that the fact that Jesus loves us is the most important thing in the whole entire world. My job is to tell people about that. That's why I love going to work every day. So no matter what you do, I hope you have a job that you love and that you cannot wait to get to because that makes life so rewarding and going into work is a pleasure. Guys, I hope you'll remember that choosing a career is more about finding what you love and finding a way to serve people than it is about making a bunch of money. I hope you find the best career in the world. Also, I hope you have a great rest of the day.